I'm presenting a phase one study of a combination of telangiectasy, also known as CD839, in combination with cabizantinib in metastatic renal cell carcinoma. Uh, this is a really interesting study because uh, CD839 uh, is uh, first in human, uh, first in class uh, glutaminase inhibitor, and uh, we've already presented the phase one data with this agent. This is an uh, agent that uh, modulates glutamine metabolism, and glutamine and glu glucose are the two you know, key nutrients for cancer cells, and. Um, uh, real cell carcinoma has high levels of glutaminase expression and in vitro uh, real cell carcinoma cell lines are, are quite responsive to uh, inhibition with glutaminase inhibitor to be 39 uh, the thought is that by combining inhibition of, with cabozantinib, which uh, in part also uh, uh, affects uh, glucose metabolism by inhibiting that, and CD39 by in, uh, inhibiting uh, glutamine met metabolism, there's in vitro synergistic effect. And in vivo, uh, they've demonstrated that there's um, enhanced efficacy of the combination. So that has led to the phase one trial being presented. And uh, in this study, we've done uh, dose escalation, uh, looking at the approved doses of CABO at 60, and looking at uh, CBA 39 at two doses at 600 and 800, and uh, looking at uh, you know, the safety tolerability and pulmonary efficacy effects. Uh, we demonstrated that this combination is uh, safely delivered. Uh, we had really uh, adverse event profile that was very similar to what we've seen with cabozantinib alone. Uh, the monotherapy uh, uh, recommended phase two dose for CBA39 uh, is the same as what has been uh, chosen for the recommended phase two dose for the combination, and we did not have any dose lim limiting toxicity. Uh, we had promising efficacy signal. Uh, we enrolled a total of 13 patients that were valuable for toxicity and 12 patients that were valuable for uh, efficacy data. Uh, of the 12 patients, we had an objective response rate of 42% overall. Uh, of, the, of those 12 patients, 10 had clear cell, renal cell carcinoma, and our objective response rate in that group was uh, 50%. And that you know, looks very uh, promising compared to cabozantinib monotherapy. Of course, our study is a limited you know, uh, number of patients. Um, so at the time of our um, uh, study data cutoff, we still had uh, five patients uh, on study on, uh, and, or had gotten treatment uh, uh, for 14 months or longer, and three patients were still on treatment uh, at data cutoff. Uh, and really, we've seen uh, deep responses in patients that had been uh, previously treated with multiple lines of therapy. And in fact, of the overall study group, uh, three, uh, almost a third of the patients had at least two lines of, 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 of uh, or, or more of anti-VEGF therapy. So I think uh, uh, in a heavily pretreated population, this is, a this is a promising signal. And now there's an ongoing randomized clinical trial uh, with registration intent.